Doctors caution that this is indeed a marathon, not a sprint. The girls have been through major trauma. Pick her up like you're holding a baby. Their little bodies will need time to heal from massive wounds. But Kendra and Malia have a history of beating the odds. Born prematurely, doctors wondered if they would ever crawl. They did. They're surprising us every day, every minute. I bet. Surprising us. And now their biggest battle yet. Like the... Every day is critical. Malia does not have a kidney and must endure dialysis. It will be months before there's talk of a transplant. And psychologically, the twins will have to get used to being apart from one another. Their beds will be placed side by side so they can hold on to their special sisterhood. Jake Heron has called his daughter's separation a rebirth, an exciting beginning to a whole new chapter in their now separate lives. For Good Morning America, Deborah Roberts, ABC News, Salt Lake City, Utah. They already seem like tiny warriors for their own survival. Uh, Pat from Monaki. Hey, Pat. Hey, Pat. I'm glad those kids got separated, okay? Or they'd have to get buried in a conjoined coffin. Oh, wow. Wow. Do you know, Pat? Yes. As I was listening to this replay yesterday, I was wanted to tell you how like amusing you were on radio yesterday. It was fun to listen to you. I didn't mean to say two. I meant to say 200. But then you call in today. Yeah. And the lady I... with, a conjoin... with the two vages, she can't have conjoined twins. They get separated. Think. All right. Thank you, sir. Wow. That was an Autobahn pileup. Wow. Uh, let's go to Josh in Dallas. Oh, Pat took a nice bombing. Oh, those were Finally. Con conjoined bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, hey, the you're the man with two throats, and something funny didn't come out of either of them. 